um, it's given me a, a new appreciation for the challenges that that people have out there and certainly for the challenges of people that are on the edge. If we talk about the pandemic and people say, well, the vulnerable people should just stay home. I mean, my son is home. He's not been anywhere, but I still have to go get his prescriptions and I still have to go to the grocery store and I'm in a position of privilege in that I've been able to make my work almost entirely remote. Most people don't have the privilege to be isolated in the way that that I have for my for my loved one. And that's why that's not just a solution. And for those that are, if I look at him, if I look at others, the burden of that isolation, the isolation of people living in nursing homes who haven't been able to see their loved ones face to face, the burden of um, individuals with intellectual disabilities living in group homes and uh, foster homes who went from March to September without ever being able to see their siblings or their parents or their friends. It's a lot. The burden has been so heavy on people that we don't typically hear from. And um, I think I'll be reflecting on that for a really long time. I respect the acknowledgement of the privilege that we may enjoy being that we're able to work from home and recognizing that it's a lot more difficult, that there's this tremendous amount of suffering. And I may not necessarily be suffering as much as my neighbor, but I'm very mindful and aware of that and empathetic to you. How do you, as someone who your voters, your representatives expect so much from, find a groundedness through times like this? Um, you mentioned that you don't, you don't identify as a Quaker. I was, I was curious is if there is a form of, of faith or spirituality or is it nature? Is there some way that you were able to kind of push through this continual storm that we've experienced for what's almost been a year now. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I think as the as the question of faith, I am a person of, of faith. Um, I uh, am a member of a of a church in Corvallis, Grace Lutheran Church, which is uh, Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. Uh, we've had a really great, and they transitioned early before they were required to, to online distant uh, worship. So uh, I certainly have enjoyed the opportunity to do that at home. Um, music has been really important. Um, I, I loved that um, the the hymn that uh, Joe Biden mentioned. That is one that I have listened to during this course of time. It happens to be one of my, one of my favorite hymns. I sometimes am you know, just doing garden work or doing other things. And I, I put on um, spiritual music. A lot of people don't, don't know that about me. Uh, I would say uh, bike riding, working in the garden, all of those things have been incredibly important. And it's, you know, I don't think I'm different than anyone else. I've had times when I've done pandemic better and times when I've kind of gotten into that pit of despair. And it, you know, it's funny to, to watch. It's, like a cycle, like I'm feeling bad, I should go on the bike ride, but I'm feeling bad, I'm really tired, so I don't, and then it's a week, and I've not done the things that are good for me, and I'm just in a, in a pit, and I think that is um, probably not uncommon for people, and I think it's really important for people to acknowledge it. It's, it's been a, a difficult and stressful time for um, a lot of people. You toss onto that the shared grief that we all have over the loss with the wildfires. And I think in this in this year, year and a half, the overall sense of lack of control. I think um, most everyone, regardless of what your opinions are, there's this idea of reckoning that we, there's so much that we don't control. We can't control fire. We can't control this pandemic. And the things that we can control, we've chosen not to. I mean, the pandemic of systemic racism, um, mm -hmm. how 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 do we attack that? How do we change that? Those are the types of things that are in our control. Climate change, that is in our control. Wildfires, pandemic, um, there are things that we can do to mitigate them. Um, but That's Wu Wei, it's a, a Taoist term. Of going with the flow, be like water, right? Let right. go of what you can't control. And to your point though, spend the tension and time and focus on that which you can and should um, exert influence. We must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force.
Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Soul Force Ones a podcast about purpose and practice. To listen to the full clip with politician Oregon State Senator Sarah Gelser, visit soulforceones.com or wherever you listen to podcasts.